I feel so fulfilled as a woman. I, I have never ever felt this way before. Where did he get this bracelet from? I woke up and you went up by my side. What are you doing outside? I want you to tell me the truth. Where did you get this bracelet from? It's my gift of love to you. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> no, you will not dodge this question. You will not dodge this question, okay? Tell me the origin of this bracelet. You know, ever since I wore this bracelet on my wrist, a certain fulfillment overtook me. I'm still wondering what is happening to me. Some men in the community are going to doubt your origin. So we need to prove to them with this bracelet that you are a noble woman of the community. <laughs> I mean, you're not serious. Am I from Umune? Remember what you told me? The very first time we met, I had always dreamt of the day I would set my eyes to a man of Omone community. I can confidently look into your eyes now and say that I know why you said that. You are from Omone and you are my wife. I have always waited for the day that I'll be locked in your arms. I'm so happy and fulfilled. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kulabu, I know you are. I know you are inside. Come outside. Let us discuss this thing once and for all, please. Let's discuss this thing. Does it mean that Tumun is no longer far away from here? You are arriving so early before I could wake up. Oh, Kulabu, come early. I arrive early because there is fire on the mountain. Virgins of this Ukehe land, they are not appearing in the moon. And when they appear, they are asking thought-provoking questions. Uncle, I have come to the conclusion that that goat was sacrificed to the shrine of virgins of Ukehe. That nonsense goat was not a virgin goat. That's the conclusion, and that's why I'm here. Let's stretch it out once and for all. You are making weighty allegations. I will not say anything till I wash my face. No problem, I could go and wash your face. You can even take your whole bath. You can wash your whole body in the, and be ready for what is coming. Wait for me. I'm waiting. Bath. Do I take your time. I'm, I'm here. Oh, yeah, tell me, we, we, we are a virgin. See no virgin. Yeah, we are a virgin. So we are a virgin. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Okay. 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 I hereby present you with the gifts of decanters. You have proved reliable in small things. 
and I have decided to trust you with bigger ones. All you need are hidden in these decanters. Your wife, Chizaba, knows what to teach you, and she knows how to teach them. Listen to her all through, and you shall have abundant reasons to smile. I will never forget you in a hurry. Thank you for being my mother that I lost as a teenager. Chizaba will lead you through the forest of Obo Araba. You will have no reason to face the evil maidens and the friendly warriors of Obalidem. Go in peace, my son. Uncle, you're not getting what I'm saying. Virgins of this land, Ukehe land, virgins of Ukehe, they are not appearing in the moon. And they appeared and they were asking our elders thought provoking questions. The questions were so serious that the elders, so technical questions that the elders were unable to answer even one question. I really know the reason why they are appearing and why they were asking questions and why nobody was able to answer them. Because the goat we sacrificed to quench the appearance was not a virgin goat. That goat was a decrepit goat, overused goat. I came to you, my uncle, because you are the one that, that brought that goat. Why would you bring such a useless goat that will sacrifice to, to these useless uh, the, the virgins and then they are still appearing? Instead of stopping to appear, they are appearing and when they appear, they are asking questions, uncle. Why, why, why would you bring that kind of goat? The problem has got nothing to do with the goat that was sacrificed. The problem has got to do with non-sacredness of your mission. I am advising you as an uncle to put a permanent stop to your quest to rule or become second in command before you see the virgins naked. Uncle? Naked? Yes. Is that their possible next line of action? To appear naked? I beg uncle, locate them anyhow we can locate them and want them not to try it. Because I'm not a gentleman when it comes to such things. Women should close it. If they open it before me, anything can happen. I'm telling you. Men can survive all things. But surely, men cannot survive the virgins of Ukehe. When they appear naked, you have the opportunity to avoid them now. Don't play into their hands. I, I, I'm not so comfortable with the way you are standing, uncle. Because you are just withdrawing yourself. You are talking as if you don't want to assist me again. There is never a time I assisted you. I decided not to turn you down so that it will not be reported that I refused to assist the son of my sister. Yeah. The mission you embark on involves the future of our people. It's not something that you can toy with. I am advising you to be careful before you burn your own fingers. <laughs> Uncle. I've said it. He... <laughs> Would have died in the hands of Ibobo, the solo warrior of Obalidem Forest. I saved him and he promised never to forget me. Why is he finally going home with another woman? He is a human and you are a spirit. Or do you want to end up with a human? I am more concerned with the promise he made to me that he's unwilling to fulfill. This man is not in Obalidem. This is Obaraba Forest. And you cannot ignite the wrath of the gods and goddesses of Obaraba Forest by attacking a man who has surrounded under your protection. 
Let's go back to Obali then where we have our rights of dominance. You have the option of not coming with me. He has a serious explanation to do. He must tell me the woman he's traveling with. Why is she leading the way as he's following? He must tell me what is going on. Else, I'll kill him. We must not move an inch until we know what is happening. Some forces are looking at us and they must show themselves before we continue. You are not an ingrate. What a lie. I demand to know what you have in common with this woman. And why is she leading you through this forest instead of the Obalidem where I saved your life? I presume that you are the one my mother called the summation of the evil maidens of Obalidem. What do you want from my husband? Are you that cheap? Could you call him your husband? Ever before you unleashed your charms on him, I had saved this life in your Baliden forest. He must follow me to that forest. He must grace the woman in me. Or oh, you do what? You know what I will do? I will kill him here if I can't have him. And you should also realize that you can't have him. Inside the decanter contains something mightier than the warrior of Obalidem. We must continue with our journey. I saw her dissolve into this decanter. Are you saying you are living with her? She has a part to play. In this journey, when the gods decide to move, they move in mysterious ways. It all started like a joke. Finally, the reality is staring us in the face. You have presented the decanter of hope. And we have no other option than to crown you king. I, Ichedike, in my capacity as the chief priest of Umune Community of Peace, do crown you king Ibakam of Umune. 
Where is Igwe? Igwe. Your coronation is taking place at night, before the moon. For a purpose. You shall be a great king. Great kings are crowned at night. And I urge you, elders here present, to file out and greet him as the Igwe. Twenty Igwe. Igwe. Twenty Igwe. Igwe. To share the Igwe or something. Igwe. Can I know Igwe come? I'll get it. He will back up. 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 This thing is going to work. King Gi Bakam of Umuna Kingdom. Wonderful. He's going to become the king. And I will be second in command. <laughs> we are going to save the kingdom to people that are ready to pay. Your colleague is not in this forest. And she cannot go anywhere without your knowledge. Where is she? Tell me her exact location. I am the warrior of this forest. Tell me where she is. The breeze carried us to Obaraba Forest and we saw a man that she once saved from your merchant traveling home with another woman and she said he has some explanations to do and she followed him to ask him some questions and since then I've not seen her. I can't believe this. She went to confront a man in another forest? Why would you allow her to do that? Why? I warned her not to ignite the wrath of the gods and goddesses of Obaraba Forest by attacking a traveler who has surrounded under their protection. But she wouldn't listen. And you know she cannot do anything I say. This is bad woman. She is not anywhere near us. And I'm not getting any signal. It is not good at all. It is not good. I plead with you to grant us passage through Mbanta. I'm a man from Umun, a community of peace, and I'm traveling back to my land with my beautiful wife. Why are we being held by the prince and his guards? I am Opara the first son of Mbanda, as long as I have interest in any woman, I must have her. Are you telling me to my face that you are interested in a woman I already introduced to you as my wife? A people that have culture should obey their culture. What you're asking for is not the culture of any people. I plead with you once more. Grant me passage with my wife. When diplomacy fails in Mbanda, we immediately resort to violence. I don't want stories. This lady that has marched on the virgin sand of Mbanda must grace my bed tonight. Uh, stop! Stand in your positions and witness the beauty of the sun.
beauty of the sun. This is what I want. Your Highness, what do we do now? The original prisoners are living with urgency. Let them go. We are not going to stop any other place until we get to Umun. And yeah, that's no problem. Even if you're tired, I will carry you until we get to Umun. Men can survive all things, but surely men cannot survive the virgins of Ukehe. When they appear naked, you have the opportunity to avoid them now. Don't play into their hands. Wait a minute, Anas, I want to understand you clearly. Are you telling me that you saw them naked? Understand my question and answer me clearly. As they were naked as no wearing any clothes at all. Is that what I'm saying? I have never seen such a thing before. I came out from my house this morning and I saw them standing here, stuck naked. I rushed back into my house and they insisted I must come out. They were calling me by my name. I don't even know who told them my name. When I finally came out, they say that, uh, that they will spare my life because I'm a, I'm a first offender. And they say that I should warn you. Warn who? You! They know my name. They called your name in full. Okeke Ugonano Onisio Kanga. And they said you must remove the hand of a monkey from the pot of soup before it turns into a human hand. I can tell you that they were talking nonsense. And you know, listen to me. I was in a dream where I saw Ishi Edike the chief priest. Crown you king Bakam of Umune kingdom. It was an elaborate occasion that aired us. We are filing out, greeting you as the king. Why can't you just understand this thing? You can't back off now simply because some hooligans appear looking like looking like veggies. Veggies never. From which kingdom? From which land? I am an ordinary citizen of Umune. When the coming king emerges, I shall surrender under his supremacy. And it's all bad. You cannot surrender under the supremacy of anybody because you are the coming king. I can't, I won't, let me tell you this thing to your face because you're not getting it. If there's anybody you, you surrender under his supremacy, it should be under the supremacy that we are going to create. We're not going to have two of us. We have a supremacy that you can surrender under, not under any man. What are you talking about? This, this, is, this is the plan that we have and it has reached this crisis. I don't, why are you backing off now? Why are you backing off? You should know that I'm not a dreamer. But if I should dream anything and I wake up to remember, it must happen. This one that I saw is going to happen. Just, just, just understand it. And stop, stop misbehaving because you are beginning to misbehave. They spared my life because I'm a first offender. I am never going to continue. Never! You know, I just feel like slapping your mouth now. Your father will be very much disappointed with you in his grave for this kind of rubbish you are saying. How can you be saying this kind of thing? Our target when we started is the throne. And our target is still the throne. In fact, we are getting close to the throne now. I don't know why you are backing off. Why, why? Why would you suddenly begin to back up because some, so, 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 some people are appearing here? Even if you must forget everything, you cannot afford to forget the fact that virgins are always not in a hurry to show anybody their nakedness. Virgins are not always in a hurry to open their nakedness to anybody because their nakedness is the most valuable thing they have. They are always hiding it. Consider those hoodlums that appeared here and showed you their, their nipples, showed you everything. See them as decrepit, unoriginal, distractors. They cannot be virgins. I can swear on my life that they are not virgins. They are distractors. And you can't afford to be distracted. And it's over. You can't be distracted because we have a target. Look at you. You are going to be the first king we are going to have in this kingdom. Look at the, the revenue. Things that are coming. That should be your target. I don't know why you are thinking of virgins. Or do you need virgins? If you virgins, you can't get virgins. No virgins now. Go see now. I want to ask you a question. Do you know me? I cannot say that I know you, but it's possible that you are a spirit because I saw how you appeared. The truth you must know is that I am not afraid of spirits. That's why I woke up to you. I am a prince from this land and countless number of times I have slept with spirit of Abuku. So, 
I am pleading with you to give it to me in peace. I don't want you to be among those that resisted me. But if you resist me, I am going to take it by force. If I ask you to open your eyes now, what are you going to see? You cannot ask me to open my eyes because my eyes are already open. You are the one that I'm seeing. So, I want you to open up and show me the real thing. I want to take you home so that you can show me the real thing. I'm going to make you one promise. You are going to have me someday, but not today. And it can never be today. Read my lips. I am going to give it to you the way you want it. Because you've already slept with spirit has given you an edge. You have experience in the act. And I promise to come back for you. And when I do, it is going to be hot. How dare you? I want to tell you immediately that I don't trust your empty promises that you've just made. I had wanted to take you home. But I've changed my mind. You are going to give it to me, not only today, but right here in the open. Oh, I can see that you came to rescue your colleague. I will not say that I'm disappointed because the Prince of Mbanta is capable of handling two maidens at once. Because I am an expert when it comes to such things. So, I order both of you to dress down or you die. What makes you think you can achieve anything on the achievement already made by others? Who are you to barge into my private meeting with the beautiful maidens? Had it been, you'd allow her to go. As she decided, she would have done what she said. She would have come back someday to do what you yearn for. You raise your filthy hands on the middle of a belidim. For I'm going to expose you to the full rest of the cause of the forest of the fire. He asked us to leave that he wanted to be alone with the woman. But he may eventually deny that he never told us to leave. And it will be his words against ours. Can we stand in argument with the prince? I want to know what you're saying. We have to go back there and be with the prince. That's our job as guards. What if we get there and meet him right on the woman? If that happens to be the case. She do it alone. Let's spread down. She couldn't have gone far. That man would have raped you. Learn to know that you're a spirit. Desist from lusting after mortals. And mortals do not tread together. Do not tread together. You said you left 
because you wanted to know what the man was doing with another woman. So may I know what you found out eventually? That lady may not be a perfect spirit, but she was tutored by a deathful spirit. She has all the charms and powers of a spirit. They caved me in the decanter and were actually traveling with me. I found myself helpless in the decanter. So how did you come about the prince that wanted to rape you? They made me a scapegoat. The prince wanted to rape the lady he introduced as his wife. They released me from the counter, and the prince fell for my charms immediately. I started lusting for me. They seized the opportunity to escape. I am going to find him, and when I do, I'm going to make him pay for what he did to me. If you harm that man, you will ignite the rods of the gods of his people. He did you no wrong and you cannot pin him on anything. When a man runs faster than his God, he will meet his untimely death. We shall go back to the king of Mbanta. Tell him what befell the prince. He ran faster than his chi, and he met his untimely death. My brother, the king will be so angry that he might order for our execution. If we are executed for speaking the truth, then we shall go back to our chi as honorable men that stood by the truth. I am not moved by your tales. You must take that woman back from wherever you picked her and abandon her there. I will not allow you to marry a strange woman. With due respect, uncle, Chizoba is not a strange woman. She's a woman from Umune and she loves this land. She's from this land? I will not believe that. Prove that to me. How can I believe that? Prove that to me. Ah. Her mother, a woman from this Umune, died beyond the great Obuaraba forest. She was very tender when her mother died. Her mother gave this bracelet to the woman that raised her. And this bracelet would trace her roots in Omun. I don't know how it will work, but this is all I know, my elders. Can I handle it? I brought this for you. This is unique. And it is different from all the bracelets I have seen you make. <laughs> what do you want me to do with it, my husband? Munye mm -hmm. Mama. It is known in this kingdom and beyond that I Okoloma, I am not just an ordinary blacksmith. I have assumed the status of extraordinary powers as I give you this bracelet. Wear it always. Wear it.
This is not an ordinary bracelet. As worn by the women of this kingdom. As the best blacksmith in this kingdom and beyond. I have implanted in this the seed of Une. The paramount god of Umune people. Where this always and the evil that seeks to destroy you shall have cause to run. Thank you very much, my one and only husband. <laughs> I will never forget this day. I hear confirm to everyone here that I made this mark. Hmm? This is the mark of Une, the paramount god of Umune people. I remember the circumstances that led to my making this mark on this bracelet. You are not making sense to me. Are you in any way trying to tell me that this woman is from this land? Do you know your mother's name? She was too young to know her mother's name. Um, uh, yes, I was too young to know my mother's name as my husband said. But my mother appeared to me severally and she told me that her name is Uyako and she was married to a man named Okoloma and the man loved her dearly. I am Okoloma. I am your father. Um, the Okoloma my, my mother told me about is a blacksmith. Are you a blacksmith? I am now part of the tripod oligarchy that rules this land. I am no longer active as a blacksmith. But everyone here will attest to the fact that I remain Okoloma, the famous blacksmith of Umune Kingdom. Olaku was my wife that went missing with a full-blown pregnancy. I now believe that you are the child of that pregnancy. Welcome home, my child. Welcome to Umune. <coughs> <coughs> Um, noble men of Fumune community, I greet you all. Okoloma. Okoloma. Nebulisa is married to your daughter. She is our daughter. Both of them married beyond the forest, where the birds and the trees bore them witness. His mother is from this land, and we know where his father was buried. Nebulisa is with us today. And he is back with the Cantas. I presume that uh, we have seen the decanter of hope we are searching for. Exactly. Members of the <laughs> Tripod Oligarchy, noble men of uh, Omune community, if I may ask, is there any reason why our noble son Nebulisa will not be crowned the king of Omune community? No. Mm -hmm. Not at all. 
Oh, which is in line with the <laughs> prophecy of Ichedike. The chief priest of the uh, Umune community. Yes. Eh? <laughs> um, my people, I am standing before all of you here to warn against any horrid decision. The town crier went around the community announcing the criteria for the selection of the coming king. Too many men will present decanters before the heads of the clans. But only one man will be crowned the king. The man that presents the decanter of hope. Let us therefore not rush in conducting this coronation. Let's give other men fair chance to present their own decanters. After such presentation, the elders will not choose the decanter that is the decanter of hope. You are the tripod oligarchy. I have made my own contributions. I have said my own. And it's all bad. You cannot surrender under the supremacy of anybody because you are the coming king. I can't, I won't, let me tell you this thing to your face because you're not getting it. If there's anybody you, you surrender under his supremacy, it should be under the supremacy that we are going to create. We're not going to have two of us. We have a supremacy that you can surrender under, not under any man. What are you talking about? You should be able to know. You should, you should know yourself that I'm not a dreamer. But if I should dream anything and I wake up to remember, it must happen. This one that I saw is going to happen. Just, just, just understand it and stand, stop misbehaving because you are beginning to misbehave. Is it ever possible that he saw me being crowned the king of Omone? How am I sure that what I have here is the canter of hope that the people are waiting for? Yes, my son. First thing tomorrow morning, you will travel beyond that evil forest in search of the cantars of hope. Father, Father, why would you want me to do that? Eh? Why would you want me to do that? Father, I don't have any business with those strange spirits that live in the forest. Ah. Father, I am a man of the future, and besides, I, 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 I don't want to face untimely death in the hands of this unknown spirit. Ah, shut up and listen. We will not allow Nebulisa to emerge as the king. Because if he do, he's going to use his veto power to recover all those things that we've already seized from him. Listen to his tale. You must do everything possible to meet with those strange spirits that give the cantas as gifts. We must have the canter to present. Father, these useless decanters, will they actually make Nebulisa king? Eh? Listen, son, we are the people that must stop Nebulisa from being. And the process of stopping him starts tomorrow. I am not going to give you more instructions because you already know what to do. First thing tomorrow, we must travel. Very important. Hey, <laughs> My jewel! Ew. Yeah. What are you doing here this early? Ah, I'm sorry this notice is coming rather too fast. I'm traveling beyond the land of Obalidem. A king will soon emerge in Imune community of peace. And whoever is going to be crowned king must present to the elders what they call the canter of hope. And I'm traveling in search of this decanter. Help. <laughs> Ew. Mm. 
Do you ever think that a man like you can ever emerge as king? <laughs> don't worry. Hey, you should know the kind of things to aspire uh, for now. You. Hey. Listen, there are so many things I'm going to explain to you as we're traveling. What are you talking about? You want to travel with me? <laughs> Listen, if I fail to travel with you, who am I going to travel with? Hey, good. I have confirmed that Ubana that came to tell me about your circumcision is actually a debased woman. You're the one I want, and I always want. Take this advantage now. Make up your mind. Hmm? There are so many things we're going to resolve on our way. You are embarking on a journey to pick something that could make you a king of your town. And you are electing to travel with a woman. Hi, you. This singular act of yours has finally confirmed to me that you're not the kind of man that could have me as wife. Why are you sounding this way? Why are you sounding this way, Godi? Eh? Take this advantage of me right now since you have the opportunity. I am going to be king. And you need to secure a space for yourself. Huh? Ew, I am really not available for your manipulations today. Listen to me. You will eventually marry a maiden that feels the man in you. Like you. <laughs> that maiden can never be me. It will not be me. If I may beg you, listen. I have too many things to take care of. Hmm? Hey, Godi. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> Make me rich. 